Hello YouTube, this is the Saxo 5. Thanksgiving Day. Thought I'd test out a product. Uh, actually, uh, this is the Friendly Swede uh, Magnesium Fire Rod, and we're going to demonstrate it today. It comes with this tool. This is a strike wall. It has a tooth edge on it and then a flat end. And uh, that is full carving the magnesium. Uh, but I find that it's a little difficult, uh, subpar uh, 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 for carving the magnesium. I get a lot of dust, I don't get a lot of good shavings. So I find the better way to go is get a really cheap beetle knife. Uh, I found this one on the ground, so it doesn't mean anything to me. And what I do is I stick the fair sim rod on my uh, platform that I'm going to be uh, uh, setting my fire on. Put it at a, the knife at a 90 degree angle on the uh, magnesium and start shaving. And as you can see, I'm getting some curly cues, some good shavings. Try the subtle side. I like to use my striking tool and to kind of pile it up. I think that should be enough to light. Uh, I'm gonna use my handy dandy cold steel. It's actually my brother's. It's a modified Tano. To, to, he turned it into a warning. And we've been enjoying it. Uh, I'm just gonna get some slivels. And my slivels are going all over the place. <laughs> it will pick them up. Yeah. I'm going to put that right beside my uh, magnesium, close the good knife up, and let's we'll see if we can get this lit. Oh wow. You notice that there's a lot of ash from the magnesium, black ash, get your door, uh, clothes dirty. Um, I successfully lit the fat wood, which isn't a hard task, but hey, it's a video. Might as well have a little bit of fun with it. And that's it. I'm going to film a tabletop uh, review, uh, talking about my feelings on the product. And I hope y'all have a great day. I'm a Satsu 5. I'm out. Hello, uh, YouTube. This is the Satsu 5. And um, right now I'm about to do the... Um, it's not really a tabletop, but it's a chair top review. I'm filming outside because it's a beautiful day. And um, let's get started on the product itself. Uh, now, this is the Friendly Swede Magnesium Fire Startle. And um, I don't have a whole lot of experience with magnesium uh, fire startles. I've probably used one about uh, three or four times in my life as of right now. Uh, and um, my first one didn't come with this tool, which I'll talk about the tool later. But this is the uh, magnesium fire uh, startle. It comes with a ferro rod on top. And uh, it has a big magnesium ball on the bottom. And what you do is you shave the uh, magnesium off in, into a pile and you strike the ferrocium rod and it lights the magnesium. The magnesium ball is extremely hot. Um, and uh, you're able to light tinder oil and um, other stuff like that uh, fairly easy. Now, um, onto the tool. Well, first off, before I get uh, started on the tool, 
I want to mention that this product was provided to me by the Friendly Swede for testing and review. This is a very new product. Um, so I'm not really sure about the price. I think it's on Amazon right now, but um, I'm not really sure how much it cost. But um, it comes in a pack of three. You get three uh, tools, three magnesium uh, file starters. And, uh, uh, and that's about all I know at the moment. Uh, but uh, uh, like I said, you get this tool. It comes with this tool. And oh, sorry about the camera. Um, I don't know if you can see this that well. Try to get the uh, camera to focus. Um, you got these teeth, these serrations. These serrations aren't really that sharp, as you can see. I can rub it across my thumb without any fear of cutting myself. And uh, they want you uh, to um, use this to scrape the magnesium. And um, it's just been my experience using the tool um, that you don't get the shavings that you really need to start a fire. You get dust. Uh, and uh, when you light this dust, when you do get enough dust that you can see yourself lighting, it kind of ambles up. It doesn't really provide a, a big flame. So, um, um, this tool has a, a magnesium scraper. I think it's a little subpar. Is it possible? I guess it is possible, but um, uh, I just don't think it's a very effective tool for scraping magnesium. Now, on the flip side, now I literally mean on the flip side, you got this flat area. And uh, that's what I use to strike the ferro rod, part of the um, um, magnesium file startle. And it seems to throw sparks pretty well. So after playing with this for a little bit, I decided the best route to uh, go is to get a very cheap knife that you don't care about and uh, use that to scrape the uh, magnesium. And um, this is a cheap uh, browning knife. It has a lot of play on it. I found it. I paid no money for it. Nor would I ever, ever really pay money for this knife because I really don't like it. But um, this is my dedicated um, magnesium scraper. And you've seen in my demonstration video how I used it. So uh, my major concern is that someone might buy this um, magnesium file startle and they might go out in the woods under prepared and not really knowing what to expect from this uh, product and uh, worst case scenario uh, they either uh, don't have a knife on them so they can't scrape sufficient uh, carvings off of the um, uh, magnesium or if they do have a knife and they use that to uh, scrape the magnesium that they dull their knife and their knife is no longer functioning as a knife in that survival situation. So my best tip is uh, get a cheap uh, knife, maybe get a multi-blade knife that has several different blades on it that you can uh, use one blade to be dedicated for scraping magnesium. Uh, I've tried uh, a, a metal file on um, this uh, magnesium rod and uh, that doesn't work too well either because you still get dust and you don't really get the when you scrape the magnesium it's been my my experience the best thing you could do is get little curly cues uh, a little bit like that long and those um, curly cues are thin enough where you can still light it with a spark but uh, they actually provide a decent amount of flame when you uh, light it you know uh, and as you saw in my video, I was able to light those uh, shavings of uh, fat wood. I've also tried, um, you seen the little stick of fat wood that I had. I've also tried um, lighting just the stick without carving it or processing it with the magnesium, and that didn't work. Um, uh, I don't, that was a different stick. I don't know if the stick was um, defective. <laughs> I don't know if there was really such thing as defective fat wood, but I guess it's possible. And, um, but I couldn't just light the stick itself. I had to carve it into thin old shavings in order for the magnesium to light it. And um, the cool thing about this um, magnesium rod, uh, some of the pros to it, is that um, it's waterproof. 
uh, you can dunk this in water, just wipe it off with your t-shirt and uh, you're ready to scrape uh, sh shavings off of it and start a file. So it's good in that respect. Um, I've also found, you didn't see this in the video, I've mentioned it because it happened, but the camera wasn't pointing at me when I talked about it. When you um, uh, light these shavings at magnesium, they throw out this black ash. And the ash um, gets on your clothes and um, it just kind of flies everywhere. Is it really that big of an issue um, uh, if in a survival situation? You know, you really, in, in that kind of situation, you shouldn't really worry about how your clothes looks. But uh, it's just something uh, that I wanted to mention just so you can expect it. You know what to expect when you use this product. And um, uh, what else can I talk about? Uh, both the tool and the um, rod has a uh, lanyard hole that you can thro throw a lanyard in. Um, you can either connect the tool and the uh, magnesium um, file starter together so you don't lose them. Um, something that um, I'm also kind of concerned about, of course, um, I'm not the master file maker that Cody Lundin is, but uh, you really need a good platform to um, uh, shave magnesium onto to start a file, whether that be wood. A paper plate, your bandana, uh, just a, just something that you can use to collect the sparks and gather them into a pile. And if it's something like your bandana, and you don't want to burn your bandana for whatever reason, uh, you can uh, uh, you can still collect it and and uh, uh, pile it up together uh, with the bandana and place it on your other platform that you're going to be starting the fire on. But uh, you don't want to just be shaving this into the grass or uh, a dart, I guess. Um, you want to be able to um, uh, get those shavings into a pile. Uh, so um, that's about it. As uh, far as the product itself, it works extremely well. Um, my, my own opinion about the magnesium method is I'm not a real big fan of it just because you need a knife to uh, scrape the magnesium with and um, it's uh, it's it's really rough on the knife it, it takes the edge right off and uh, uh, of course I wouldn't use my primary knife to scrape magnesium but if that's the only knife you have then you're kind of SOL so um, I rather have just a ferro rod and um, maybe some fatwood shavings, you know, jute twine, something like that uh, to um, start my file with. Although uh, those, uh, some of those other file starting tendrils are uh, uh, subject to water damage. And this one is it. Well, I guess that's it. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, and I hope y'all have a nice day. I'm a Saksu5 and I'm out.